Hey folks, Joseph A. Sabori here as we continue with This is America Charlie Brown miniseries which the previous episode I revealed was episode 1 called the Mayflower Voyagers yeah I acted like a blockhead when I made a mistake on the title I meant to say Voyagers yeah which was the story of Charlie Brown and the rest of the Peanuts gang had explored the Mayflower to go all the way to find a new land with the Pilgrims yeah, they found the Indians, they were already building homes and farming, and the start of Thanksgiving, you have to be thankful for it. To thank for everybody they have done. But now there's episode two called The Birth of the Constitution, which is a story about Charlie Brown and his gang, who are witnessing the founding fathers about starting a new government, for the Constitution. It stars Jason Riffle as Charlie Brown, Amy Foster, yes, Amy Foster from Punky Booster as Lucy Van Pilt, Jeremy Miller, yes, Jeremy Miller from Growing Pains as Linus Van Pelt, Carrie Hollowhand as Marcy, Christina Lange as Sally Brown, Jason Mendelson as Pepper and Patty, Hal Smith as the Delicate, Chuck Olson also as the Delicate, with Bud Davis, Shepard Menken, Frank Welker as all the adult voices, and Bill Melendez as Snoopy and Woodstock. It's created by Charles M. Schultz and is directed by Everett Brown. The episode begins 11 years after the Declaration of Independence, 13 American colonies have became the United States as a united name only. But there were 13 independent Republicans who are bickering among themselves for taxes, borders, and water rights. A meeting had occurred in Pennsylvania, Philadelphia to solve any of these problems that's happened. 12 of the 13 state representatives and 55 delegates would participate. Only half of them have arrived in the meeting. They came by water, stagecoach, and horseback. On the morning of June 1st, 1787, Charlie Brown and Snoopy were getting ready to do some more work at the house, you know, such as working on the turnpike. Yeah, that Snoopy was like running around on, yeah, just to cook some uh, chicken. But Charlie Brown is just um, starting up some fire with wood and all of that. Of course, even Charlie Brown had to feed uh, Snoopy in that nice uh, Snoopy's doghouse, trying to look more fancier and American that way. Uh, anyway. Later on, Charlie Brown and Snoopy, along with Linus, Lucy, Pepper, and Patty, Marcy, and even Woodstock, had later do some more jobs at the convention. They learned that for the past 10 years, the country has rules for the Articles of Confederation. Even though it hasn't worked so well during those times, because the individual states had too much power and that's why they couldn't find a stronger government. It gets too complicated to find a man who is equal enough to run for government. Suddenly George Washington on his white horse had arrived in the meeting for the House of Representatives who were planning to elect by the people for the legislators and that's where the debate of the birth of the Constitution had happened. The founding fathers, Mr. Wilson, no, not Mr. Wilson from Dents the Menace, <laughs> no, this is a different Mr. Wilson, along with Mr. Gary, Mr. Sherman, Mr. Mason, even Benjamin Franklin, and others, are composing to decide who will be the next head of the government. Apparently they were trying to elect one chief executive or more. It also involves uh, the laws of the Bill of Rights, slavery, 
and many others. Even worse, they continued to go on throughout the entire summer, day and night, until around late September or so. But meanwhile, Charlie Brown is the outside man, a job where he gets to sweep around town with the broom as he charges for ballet parking. But even for a break, he was creating some new sports such as basketball, baseball, and yes, even with Lucy around, kickball. Linus is the usher for the people to enter the town's hall. Pepper, yeah, Pepper and Patty and Marcy are chosen to bring pails of water yeah, for the founding fathers and everyone else. But they also help clean up. And Sally is the inkwell lady where she checks to see if the inkwell is full or not. Snoopy and Woodstock are considered to be the watchdog. By this rate, <laughs> Snoopy is the watchdog. Yeah, Woodstock just uh, works as his partner. But they also dressed up by wearing those uh, white wigs. Yeah. Anyway, and of course, Lucy becomes the mob girl. They are actually worried that if these men don't fully agree very soon, the convention and the country will collapse. But as the delegates finally settled, they approved the We the People Constitution for the laws and for the new United States. So that way, things go well for the better. Yeah, the original title was actually called It's Freedom, Charlie Brown. Yeah, I just found that out on the internet. So this is where they're trying to find freedom for the United States. Um, it's one of those episodes where you basically just see the founding founders making their debate. So you basically don't see uh, the penis game doing something much. But they're just hanging around, you know, doing some more jobs. So this is a different kind of episode that you expected, which I thought this was pretty interesting, because you get to see adults uh, debating what they should have or should have not. Well, anyway, um, definitely one of the biggest moments, though, was when they had Benjamin Franklin, who actually decided to do an experiment by using the kite. Yeah, so he borrowed the kite from Charlie Brown since he's not very good at it. And this is where he discovers electricity. The funny thing is though, was that this was basically a goof, but that's okay, because hey, it's only a cartoon. We could probably change our ways here. <laughs> so of course that wasn't historically accurate right there. Because um, it actually happened in 1752. It didn't happen in 1787. Because that would be like 35 years. But anyway, I thought that was pretty clever. <laughs> um, but it was always cool to see Snoopy and Woodstock, you know, just riding around the boat, you know, trying to you know, put themselves in charge, and they had to run around in, that, in the beginning of the special. I love the score that they chose. Uh, that was actually done by George Winston, so it's not all the other composers, but he basically started to use um, the piano and harpsichord solos for for the Lions and Lucy themes and all the other ones. So I thought that really worked so well. It just makes it more fancier and old-fashioned for uh, for America at the time. But it really works, and you just see Charlie Brown you know, barefooted, you know, wearing different clothes. So. Thing goes with Snoopy. The house would look more different than ever, so it makes it more fancier than as you may have expected. So that that was really cool. Um, 
there's not been much to it though, because basically the whole special is just about the men's themselves debating on who's going to be, who's going to run the, for next government, like who's going to be maybe the next president or so to do so. So it kind of, it kind of drags a bit too long, but other than that though, it's uh, it's not a bad special. It just shows about how the American history goes for. Well, but it's, but in the end, it, it was always cool to see Charlie Brown just creating some new sports and like, because he started to use the same ball where he tries to figure it out uh, how to how to create the the basketball and see how it works or how he plays baseball by using a stick on a stick ball, but then Lucy joins in and, and suddenly turns into a kickball. Yeah, this is where you have that familiar scene where she just holds the, the ball in the position and then she pulls it away just when Charlie Brown was ready to kick it. But, of course, Charlie Brown misses it and falls right flat on his back. Yeah. So, anyway, it's uh, still a good special to check out uh, for episode two. So... Stay tuned for my review of episode 3 of This is America, Charlie Brown, the miniseries. I'll see you later. Bye.